there you guys i'm teddy from bijuteo beading and in today's tutorial i'm gonna be showing you really easy and step by step how to make these watermelon fringe seed beads earrings i'm showing them step by step and i'm sure even if you are a beginner you will be able to make them by yourself if you're new here consider subscribing click the bell for more absolutely free similar content check description for full list of materials other useful resources and a facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials i will be so happy to see them you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and the last one comes with perks that you could check in description and at the join button now let's start with the list of the materials okay guys and what i'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 seed beads black red white dark green and light green here i'm using earring findings this is nylon island thread that is 0.3 millimeters or size d this is size 11 beading needle you could also use size 10 or size 12 the smaller sizes will be easier to work with and these are scissors and now i'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and later probably i'll need to add more thread and then i'll be back okay guys and i'm starting my work by picking up a red and a black bead and i'm sliding those down i'm leaving a small tail here that i will put my needle on and i will finish my work later with and what i do now is that i go back through the red one okay now i have my beads next to each other with the holes pointing in this direction and then i'm going through the black one then i take a red bead i go back through the black and backwards through this red that i'm adding and again and again and three more red beads Okay, now I have six red beads in a row and then I need a white one and a green one. Okay, now I'm not satisfied how these beads sit, that is why I'm going to go through all of them, reinforcing them. Okay guys and since I have this row ready I will start the next row and I'm starting it the following way I take two beads 
and you see these thread bridges that I have between my beads and what I want to do is to go under the second one of them just like this and pull now I have this and what I want to do is go through the bit that is closer to the center of my work just like this then I'm going backwards to this one and then I go back again through this bit and I finish the reinforcement of my two beads okay then I want to take one red bead and I'm going under the following thread bridge that I have here absolutely the same way like the previous step but under the following thread bridge and then I go back through this bead from now on I'm going to add the beads one by one only the first step is with two okay and I take one go under the next thread bridge and backwards like this then a black one two red beads one by one and then a white and a green bead then a green and a white and start the next row the same way here you see the thread bridges and I go through the second one which is between the second and the third bead that I have on my way I'm pulling then again I go through the bead that is closer to the center of my work backwards through the green one and one more time here reinforcing it then two reds in a row then two more reds and then a black and a red one and I'm starting my next row with two red beads I'm going under the second thread bridge and the same way through the one that is closer to the center and reinforce
Now I'm going to add three more reds, a white and a green. After that, a green and a white, and the same steps, second thread bridge through the bead that is closer to the center. And reinforcement. Then a red, and after that a black. And after that, guys, I need two red beads. First, I'm adding one. And then one more. The next row, I start with two red beads. Go again under the second thread bridge here. Repeat what I did before through the bead that is closer to the center and reinforcement. And then one red, a white, and a green. And from this side, I always start with a green and a white. I do the same thing as before, second thread bridge, then the reinforcement. And I finish the row with two reds. And I take a red and a white, again second thread bridge, and the familiar steps after that. And a green one. And then I take two black beads, again I go under the second thread bridge, I have only two thread bridges, but I go again through the second one, counting from here, and then I go through this black bead, and after that I take my earring finding, and go through the other one and reinforce. Ok, 
Okay, now I turn my work in this direction. And I want to reach this part, guys, and start the fringes. And in order to do this, I go diagonally through some beads. And I want to exit here out of this green bead. Now what I want to do is to put needle from this side. And as I put a needle from this side, what I want to do is go here through some beads in this direction. Then here I'm making a loop. And I'm going twice through the loop I've made. And I pull. Then I go through some beads in this direction. And I cut a really secure this tail thread. And what I'm going to take here, guys, for my first fringe are nine dark green beads, four light green beads and 14 dark green beads. OK, this is what I have. Pick it up. Pause and pick it up. Now I'm going to slide. And what I'm going to do next is what I will be doing until I finish this work at every fringe. Now I don't go through the last three dark green beads, but I go through the fourth like this. Then I pull. And after I pull and fix it a little bit, this is what I have. It's better to to stretch your thread before you use it because in this way you won't have gaps here at the fringes at the beginning of the fringes. Then I want to go through all of those beads in this direction, pull tight and fix this to stay in a nice shape these last four beads here. Okay. Then I will go through two beads in this direction and pull again. This is what I have. Now in my next step to be easier for me, I'm turning my work like this. And I want to go through these two white beads. Okay and pull. And in my next step, I'm going to take a long sequence and I'll be back. Okay. And what we have here next are 12 white beads, four light green beads and 14 dark green beads. Okay. And after that, I'm going to slide those down. Pause and pick them up, guys. And I'm going to do pretty much the same thing. I, I'm skipping these first three beads here. And I'm going through the fourth one. You see? And I pull. Then I go through all of those beads in this direction.
and now if you can't go through these bit just take your pliers and go through it okay and pull and after I pull tight you see I have my second fringe ready okay then what I do is that I turn my work in this direction and I go through the red one here then I turn again I will pick up another long sequence and I'll be back to tell you what it is okay and I just took the following sequence four red one black three red seven white four light green and 14 dark green and now I'm going to do absolutely the same thing as before I'm skipping the last three and I'm going through the fourth one it is absolutely the same thing I was doing before okay now I have this then I will go through all of those beads in this direction I go through this bead like this if you need use your pliers then I'm turning my work in this direction okay guys and in this last fringe I have one red one black nine red seven white four light green and 14 dark green beads then I'm going back again through the fourth one counting from here go backwards I will exit through the next red one and I'll be back to tell you how I'm making the next fringe okay guys and after I went back and repositioned here I need to add another fringe I'll pick up the beads and I'll be back okay guys and for this last fringe that you see here I take eight red one black five red seven white four light green and 14 dark green okay I'll go back the same way I'll exit out of the next one and pick up my next sequence and I'll be back okay guys and I just went back through all of those beads that I showed you in a while and now I can't pick up yet my next sequence because my thread is almost over and I should cut it and add a new thread and how I do this I make here a knot by making a loop and going here through this loop I've made and I pull and then what I do it is that I zigzag through my beads a little bit like this and I cut my thread as close as possible to my work now again I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I pre-stretch it to make my fringes stay as close as possible to my work okay I'll do this put it on my needle and I'll be back okay guys and now I have a new thread on my needle and what I'm going to do is go through some beads make a knot to attach it okay let's say I'm going here through this bead with the new thread as I said I pre-stretch it I'm using nylon nylon thread 0 0.3 millimeters I'm pulling making here a loop go through this loop I've made and then I want to go here where I need to continue with my work and with my next fringe that I'm making before I continue 
I will cut this tail thread here that is sticking out as close as possible to my work. You could also burn it with a zipper if it still is sticking out. Okay, then as I'm set, I'm taking the next sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and here is the sixth fringe that I'm taking and it consists of three red, one black, seven red, one black, five red, seven white, four light green and 14 dark green. Okay, I'll go back through it, take the next sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and after I finish the previous fringe by going backwards and then through the following red, I took another sequence and it is 9 red, 1 black, 10 red, 7 white, 4 light green and 14 dark green. Okay, I'll do this, go backwards, exit out of the next, pick a sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and for my next fringe I have 5 red, one black, eight red, one black and eight red and after that the familiar sequence of seven white, four light green and fourteen dark green. Okay, I'll go back, I'll exit out of the next one and pick up the following sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and for my next fringe I take the following sequence. Twelve red, one black, seven red, one black. 5 red and then the familiar one, 7 white, 4 light green and 14 dark green. Okay, I'll go back, exit here and pick up the next, the last sequence and I'll be back. Okay guys, and in my last step, I'm taking the longest fringe that consists of 3 red, 1 black, 25 red beads, then the familiar sequence of 7 white, 4 light green and 14 dark green. Okay, I'll go back here, as you know, through the fourth one, through all of those beads. I won't make you watch me how I'm doing it, but I'll be back to show you how I finish my work. Okay guys, and after I went back through all of those beads here, I'm going in this direction through some beads, pulling making this fringe look nice and tight and after that as I'm here I want to make a knot and cut my thread and how I'm making it I make here a loop and I go twice through the loop I've made I pull then as I did before I go through some beads in this direction and after that I cut this tail thread. Okay guys, and now my watermelon fringe seed beads earrings are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe. Also, thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough guys for these actions. And if you have done beautiful jewelry pieces out of my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that you will see in description a lot of work goes in this video so you might also want to support me in paypal or by becoming a member and more info for the membership perks link in description and at the join button thank you so much for watching bye bye from me